going on guys, Carmine here, and I just finished watching episode 3 for House of the Dragon, and needless to say, that was without a doubt the best episode we've gotten so far. But it looks like the good times are still going to continue on into the next episode. So let's take a look at what we can expect from episode 4. Off the bat, we start with Rhaenyra and the Cat's Paw Dagger, and her reading up on the prophecy of the prince that was promised. If you recall, back in season 7 of Game of Thrones, Melisandre tells Danny about this prophecy, to which she concludes that it could be implied to be a princess instead of a prince. His song will be that of Ice and Fire, is not only the historical events that the Archmaester writes about in the finale of Game of Thrones, but it's also the title for the entire book series the shows are based off of, George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire. This prophecy also serves as motivation for some of the Targaryen characters in the future and why they make the decisions they do, one of these being Danny's brother Rhaegar. Birthday, and the voiceover here tells us that he is now three years old. We also see what looks like Rhaenyra hanging out in Storm's End, the Baratheon stronghold, and it appears Viserys is calling her back to King's Landing, as we'll see her later on in the preview in a ship in which Damon flies by it. We also see glimpses of Viserys and Rhaenyra's relationship once again in turmoil, possibly over a rumor of her being intimate with someone else. In the Fire and Blood history book, there are several characters who attribute Rhaenyra as to be the high towers trying to pit the brothers even more against each other, so when they do try to take the throne, there'll be one less Targaryen Kingsguard is there with her. He is throughout the entire preview, in fact. Christian Cole is one of the many lovers Rhaenyra was rumored to have had in the books, and it is likely he is one of the main guys that the gossip is being spread about, which is what the episode will mainly be a focus of. Rhaenyra not being a maiden is likely an attempt by either Daemon or the Hightowers to turn away any strong matches for her marriage, though we'll have to wait and see. But guys, that is it for today. I know it's a short video, but the preview didn't give us much to go off of, though it does look really good. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode, because I sure as hell thought it was a great one, with lots of phenomenal character moments and great action scenes. Once again, be sure to leave your thoughts down below, hit that like button, it helps out the channel, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.